Hey, what's going on guys? Moby here and welcome back to another episode of How to Even Factions. That's right, it is the third episode and I officially know the title by the time that I'm recording this one. Um, now I said that there was going to be um, some uh, super cool video coming out on the third one and that has actually been postponed to uh, a later time because you'll you'll find out when that video comes out so we'll worry about that later on but right now we're gonna worry about our next tutorial so what I will be doing next for you guys is pillars now someone requested offset pillars and I hope this uh, is what they were talking about um, a way to gin them in and basically I'm gonna go over offset pillars with you guys so I really do like these things there um, I'm doing, uh, as you can see in front of me on the minimap, there's a base design over there that I'm going to be doing pretty soon. And it actually utilizes these. These offset pillars is uh, what I'm going to assume. They're basically like corner pillars except for they uh, cover all of the lanes is what I like to call it. They cover all blocks, uh, all directions that you can shoot forward at. Um, and they can basically um, cover any side of the base except for corners there's you can't really do corners like this you have to do corners the normal way it it I'll explain it later on when I go over the base tutorial but uh yeah so here's a, a failed attempt to try to make them really compact so there are a few issues that happen with these when you try to gen them in uh especially compact like they are over here this is as small as I could get them to gen them in using the method that I'm doing and I didn't even clean it up just to kind of like have a little reference guide to show you guys here before I showed you a clean final um, layout and everything but if you do try to do them any more compact this is what happens somewhere along the bottom when you get to lower stages of ginning lava starts to move outward and blocks act weird and I don't even know what the happens but it just starts to get all mangled and lava likes to flow all over the place and it really really causes a lot of errors and I don't even know if it does this just near the bottom or if it does this at a certain block limit block point once it starts ginning the men or something you can't even really follow what is even happening when they're ginning in because it's just so dumb it doesn't even make any sense it doesn't follow rules of minecraft but you know it's lava and water for you they're confusing concepts sometimes when you're trying to do difficult things so let's move on from that this is as compact as I could get them for you guys here it is now this is not a final product as you guys can see there are some slabs missing on the inside and there's still lava and there's some random blocks creating water po air pockets but I wanted to show them to you guys before I even made a final looking version and we will make a final looking version here in this tutorial so this is what they will look like in the middle actually so this is technically after you're done ginning but not before you're done with them being completely set up so yeah these are pretty useful they are basically um what i show them in the base tutorial is what i'll explain later is they're really good for anti-nuke they're super super op for that kind of stuff and so let's go ahead and start laying them out so here's how we're going to do this so there's a kind of a pattern to doing these uh to do them as close together as possible as you guys can see it's kind of like a, a three uh three and then three so it's kind of like three one side move over one three three and they just keep doing that over and over again and keep interchanging them kind of makes them layered so i'll kind of show you guys that here so what you want to do is um i'll show you here i'm gonna go to the next layer so you do need to have a space in between them three blocks is the space you need to have between in each of these little ginning zones i'll show you what they are in just a second so here's what we're going to do so this is the basic design that you're going to need to lay out you're going to just go three out one over and then three out again oh sorry four outward from this four outward okay there we go yeah you're gonna go four because you're gonna break the corner one boom like this and then when you're done say we're gonna do three for this tutorial so we're gonna have to add one here oops there we go so say you have this you have four blocks um the first block does not need four it just needs three every other layer after it though does need four since this one is going directly against the base if you weren't going directly against the base you'd have to do four it just depends on where you're going to start them so here is how you do this you break the corner blocks first and then you go in the middle and break these ones so that it does like a sort of checkerboard kind of pattern 
Yes, I know it doesn't look how it looks over here, but it will in just a second. You guys will see uh, exactly what I am planning here with this. And so, um, actually, on this one, oops. Nope, we can't do it just yet, I don't believe. Because um, you can do it like this. But we'd have to be one more over, because you still need um, those three block gaps in between them. So let's go ahead and continue here. So we got our three. There's one, two, three. One, place, break, break. Uh, I'm just going to break them as I need now. There we go. Oops. Hopefully you guys uh, understand the pattern. Very simple pattern. Uh, not too complicated on this one. Oops, didn't mean to do that. One more. There we go. Alright. Cool, cool, cool. Now when this gin's in, it will obviously look like the other one. It'll be a uh, much closer. So that is at the very end of the base there. I think that's all we're going to do. Um, let see if we can go one, two, three and we'll do one on the edge just as a standalone we'll only do one side of it though there we go cool 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 yeah so what I just did there kind of gives it away really so that you guys kind of know what these blocks are for these blocks are guiders um, you'll see these a lot when you're doing this kind of base work where you have to have um, spe only specific blocks being ginned in and things and such like that. So what you're going to do is, is, now that you have your base, you have your design here, you're going to step on this block and you're going to fall off on this side. So here is how this works. So this is the first block. There's going to be a wall a dead in front of you if you fall off. So that means you need to have block here, block here, two more, and that is the final product. Let me do it again right over here. So you guys can see it a little bit better so that there aren't other slabs. This is what it will look like when you are done. You will make this for every single one of these. Alright. Um, you can fill in the rest of the holes. Not not this three block slot. The three block slot is where it is going to be ginning. And that is where you need to have the empty space. So this, these can be connected obviously since they are um, so close together. Here we go, and if there aren't any little errors, you can go ahead and fix them. And so the next thing to do, obviously, uh, it's not too obvious though, is to move one over. So you'll basically, so here's the starting block that we used last time. I, I'm not going to break down because I don't let the water, f well, we'll just do it for a little bit. So here's the starting block that we had last time. We're going to go directly to this block next to it. So if you're facing towards it, you're going to do the block on the right and you're going to place one block there and that is your new starting block like that block there. And then you just continue on with the pattern like so. There we go. All right. And so moving along here quite well. Cool, there we go. And then we did three, so we need to do one more like that. These are fairly easy to set up, especially with a uh especially with the slash fly ability. If you have that on whatever server you're playing on. Um if you're on cosmic top rank, unless you're on the vanilla planet, then you're not so lucky there. Alright, I think that covers all of them. Why do I feel like it's a little bit off? Where did I get off at? Hmm. Did I think I placed them too close together. I think I tried to do the tightly packed ones. Yes, that is exactly what I did. Hold on, let me fix this real quick. I tried to do the tightly packed version again. That was not the best idea. Okay, so let's just go ahead and break it back down to the basic line. Sorry about that, guys didn't even realize that I was doing it without thinking about it. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. It's starting to be annoying. And you know what we're just going to do? We're going to use world edit. There. There we go. Okay, so what you need to do is we can look over here at this one. You need to offset them by a whole row. So instead of doing what I showed you guys, you have to do it like this. You have to build your three there and your one there. 
sorry, so if you're facing at it, uh, let's break this block again. So if you're facing at it, what you're going to do is, is you're going to shift it over a whole three, and you're going to move it up one. So it would go uh, forward one, and then shift over three. There you have it. Boom, let's go ahead and fix that. All right, yeah, completely did not realize that I was totally about to mess up. Make sure that you definitely double check, just like I did, by looking down um, in the slots where the lava is going to fall, where in between the guiders there. Um, you definitely want to do that, definitely, definitely, definitely. If I hadn't have done that, I definitely would have messed up this whole tutorial and had to restart it on another side. That would have really sucked, or I would have had to world edit all of it away, and it would have been a waste of 10 minutes. Because I have been going a little longer. I hope you guys do not mind uh, these extra long videos. I know I've been having uh, people asking for extra long videos, um, but not too sure how you guys are enjoying this. So we're going to go, and it's going to fall right there. We're only going to do one, so you only need half. So if you do a full one, you need three. If you do half of one, you need two, and you'll see why in just a second. So this basically goes with the general rule of lava, which I will be um, making some general rule, a general rules video of what to do when you're um, making bases and stuff like that here coming up pretty soon. I have a lot planned up um, on this series for you guys because there's a ton to go over and it's just going to be super awesome. So um, this follows the general rule of always have the source flowing along with it. I will explain that in much greater detail. So now here we're going to start. So as you guys can see, I placed in between my guiders. You're going to do that on each one of these. Place it in the middle where you broke the middle block. Nowhere else. Make sure to only place it here. Um, if you're, you definitely want to be at world height when doing this because it will gin all the way up. You won't have to build anything. Nothing is necessary to be um, built on the top here. It does it all the way up. All you have to do is just do a little bit of cleanup work at the very top afterwards and add some slabs in later on unless you add them in. Because you could go ahead and add these in before you even gin it in and before you even start pouring the lava, you could fill those little slots. I just leave them there just because water likes to flow into them. Alright, so now that we have all of our lava going so you guys can see this is not too complicated, very, very simple. Now this next part, super easy. Place the lava wherever it can reach the or place sorry place the water wherever it can reach these flowing lavas on the side make sure to not hit the source block if you hit the source block it's totally messed up you're gonna have to remove all the errors and um take down all the lava and everything because it'll screw it up it'll big 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 time screw it up uh you might even gen down the middle pillar and that would be really bad you'd have to break that by hand or something else so make sure to not hit the top don't go up top or here what you're going to do is you're going to place them alongside like this. Uh, you can do this strat where you uh, kind of get one going and then build off the, that one to do them. Um, um, I place it against the wall here. That makes it quite simple. That gets two at once. Um, let's see. There we go. Let's just get enough water to start ginning them in. Mm, you're going to have to definitely place a lot, a lot, a lot of water for these because they do take up um, they do need quite the large sources of water to be able to do all of the ginning properly now you want to make sure boom that you have all of your areas covered um, like this there we go we need to get this final one going there cool 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 and let's let it all go down and know we have uh, this one pillar right here going to finish cool it's going down quite rapidly as you guys can see ginning and all the water and lava flow super quick on the server very very rapid uh, okay so let's see just do a quick check you want to make sure that they're all pillars downwards and as always there's a little one block gap at the bottom of basically everything that I do because I like to have a clean a nice clean cut finish no little extra add-on work no junk like that I'm gonna go ahead and place um, these blocks so we don't mess up anything that we try to do later on boom you guys don't have to place these probably shouldn't place these not recommended to cut off the flow of water unless you absolutely have to when doing a base because sometimes you could screw stuff up that you don't even know you're screwing up there we go I think that covers all of our little water flows 
Okay, cool. Now that it is all ginned in, we are going to remove all the sources. So however you want to do this, I'm just going to place blocks. It honestly does not make a difference how you do it. Um, you can go back through and break each block. Just break the middle block for now. Wait until all the lava flow is down for you to go ahead and start removing any other blocks. That is definitely another key component here because you do not want the water to flow out of place and screw these up because they're really... Ooh, wow. Look at that. Caught one that I didn't gin in. Um, they're really kind of extremely difficult to fix, especially pillars, 255 blocks straight upwards. No, it's no wall, but it's certainly no uh, easy feat either. So let's go ahead and get rid of that. And I believe all of our lava is gone. There goes the last little bit there. So now what you're going to do is you're going to go back and you're going to break your guiders just like this you can just follow the pattern that you made beforehand just like this fairly simple so far nothing too complicated it just takes a lot of um, little prep works and making sure that you're doing everything properly and um, in a good order so now what you're going to do is go back through your design and just place water wherever there is no water to cover every single side of the pillars um, you do not want to leave one side unwater prodded. That is a huge uh, mistake that people make, and it does indeed get bases split. You want to have everything covered to the best of your ability. Uh, if you can't get something, have someone help you, or um, somebody who can fly, or do something along those lines. I'm only going to do this like front little part here. Uh, I can place those like that. I can do that for the same there as well, since I'm going to place it along this. Alright, we'll just do that bottom cleanup a little bit later on. Cool, cool, cool. But yeah, as I was saying, so while we're placing all of this water, um, I will be releasing a base design. It might be the next video, not exactly sure. have yet to record um, the base uh, have yet to record it and get it finalized and all those kinds of things that you have to do when doing stuff like this. So if you just want to run along the front here and place all of these. Alright, just make sure you cover all your bases. Don't leave anything on water prodded. There we go, looks like we got everything this time. I do not see any gaps in the water and there you guys have it. Now you guys will notice that you cannot see a straight clear cut path to the base. Everything is diagonal and as of right now i don't know of any cannon and i'm fairly certain that there's no cannon that shoots diagonally so then very final thing is just go through fill in any holes do these and fill in these gaps in the middle that is it that is seriously it guys that is a very simple tutorial hope that did help you guys did not mean to place that final one there as that was not part of the plan. There we go. Cool, cool. Alright, I'm just cleaning this up. We're basically done at this point, guys. So, hope that did indeed answer the question of the offset pillars and how to gen them in this is the easiest way that i have come up most compact um as you guys can see over here just doing it one block closer makes all those lava glitches and whatnot i will try another couple of ways to see if i can do these um but for right now this is my recommended way at two blocks not a lot of space to give away uh it just makes people have to use more power if you have say like i don't know 20 sets of these going hours you like have so you have like 10 of each row just facing dead forward that's a lot of power and that is a lot of walls that they cannot nuke through because each one has to be broken individually since they don't touch each other and oh xd funny joke and um dang that totally threw me out there and don't normally make jokes in videos but that came up so i figured i'd go ahead and say it anyways oh yes and they're all water prodded on all sides so yeah even um scatter cannons will not be able to unless you can scatter the sand with the TNT then you might be able to bust a couple of these up but I highly doubt it um, really these are just super nice easy to make 
very simple um, good anti-nuke defenses on a base because nuking is a big thing right currently for uh, I know last season our base got nuked there course towards the end um, they nuked through like 30 walls or something like that on one side and it was pretty scary because they did a huge 80 block gap on every single side it was like four blocks um, it was like four blocks long by 20 blocks tall on every single wall and they did it through all 30 walls and it didn't take them very long once they got the cannon set up once we stopped messing with them because we they did it when we were offline and so it was pretty freaking legit but you know so yeah that is about it for this video guys i hope you guys did enjoy hope this did answer that question um like the view if you do enjoy and want to see some more for the from the series for sure and i will see you guys in the next video until then see you guys later peace